when I think about what Dr. King was actually fighting for, you know, being equal to all people of color, including the white man, I think about how his mind should have really flashed back to Tulsa and say, yo, why can't we just create our own bus company? Why yeah, can't we yeah. just have our own? Like we fighting to sit anywhere on the bus. But the fact is, since you was on the bus and we could have created a whole fleet of entrepreneur vibes, because from what I understand down in the South, there were still very many black bus companies at that time. There was really no need for us to integrate. You know, I nope. am one who believes that we should have never integrated. You right. know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm 100% standing on that. Even after going to DC a couple years back when they first opened that Smithsonian African American Museum and they have all of this information about Tulsa, just a whole room dedicated to it. And I was just like sitting in there like big mad because why do I have to deal with this? Like, why do I get this little space in this museum dedicated to black wealth, to black legacy, and all you got left was a freaking penny from the dirt. Like, I don't want to see that shit. Like, tell me what the real is. You know what I mean? Like, that's number one. Number two, what I am thankful for Dr. King is the, uh, the concept and the idea of open housing and fighting for black home ownership to live wherever they want. I feel like people who have the money should be able to buy and purchase wherever they want to. It doesn't matter if you don't want us integrating your cities or not. You know, it goes back to redlining. It goes back to the whole entire Fair Housing Act, which was created shortly after his assassination. And then shortly after that, you know, it was implemented the credit system. They like, oh, now these niggas could buy houses. Like, how about we put something else on that ass? And they sprinkled... Mm -hmm. Equifax and TransUnion, <laughs> do you know what I mean? An experience on us because they already know that we're not going to be as savvy with money as they are. You understand? So there are some things that I do agree with Dr. King, but it's like two things. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's really no disrespect to the man, fair. but. I really think, you know, with my entrepreneurship mind, I really 100% think that they should have created their own bus companies and just kept right. that shit pushing. Yeah, I agree. I can't agree with you more, Queen. What you think, Nolly? Um, you don't know what I think. <laughs> MLK, um, I mean, I think he was he was um was needed for that time. But uh, for us, the nonviolence, we shouldn't have been, you know, doing that nonviolence. I think it set us back. Um, set us back as far as um, us progressing as a people. And, you know, it did kind of put people who was not, um, who was not, who didn't have really like a lot of knowledge of self, kind of giving them like a boost or something like that as far as them moving about in the, um, in the public, you know, I spoke with a, a few elders and stuff like that. You know, it it, it kind of during that time it did kind of empower the people, but you know, to stand up, you know, um, you know, changing different things like you know, white bathroom, color bathroom, white water, color water, what they can go drink at, stuff like that. Um, but for us that. I think it's just another day to me. I'm just being for real. I'm not going to uh, um, poop on his legacy, but um, a lot of stuff he don't even own. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he even own, own, uh, own, I don't think his, this, does his family own like his, his, the church and all that stuff, the house? I don't think they own that stuff, do they? Me neither. I don't think so. I don't think they own that stuff. I don't think that, it's, it's a lot of stuff I think they do not own. I mean that, that his family does not own, but at the same time, I'm gonna say this: it was needed for what was what was going on during that time. Uh, some of, some of it was needed, some of it was not needed. I'm gonna leave it like that. But we should have during that time. And the Queen is right; I did do some research. There were other black bus companies. The integration we did not need it. Um, definitely at that time, we could have kept our money in house. And we definitely would have learned about the circulation of money as far as 
it circulate in our community several times before leaving it. Because once, once, because once we start to integrate, yes, a lot of black businesses lost money because yeah. they wanted to, they wanted to, you know, poke their chest out and be like, "I'm going with Sarah and Charlie went." You know what I'm saying? The Wazungu. Right. So it set us back. I'm gonna just put it to you like that, and it cut out some form of entrepreneurship. Because during that time, we also had our own cab companies, too. So it's, it's a lot to this. You know, um, um, as we as as we get to live and see and read and study and reflect, um, it's all bull. We just leave it like that. But I think I think for what I think for for the time it was. It was needed. Mm -hmm. Everything, everything that happens to to the to us as a people in history is either a help or not a help. And, and nine times out of 10, it's not a help. I'm just going to be for real with you. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, is not a help. And a lot of times when you're affecting the, the uh, Wazungu's commerce, <laughs> they will find a way for you not to affect their commerce. Yeah. The main thing yeah. of, of this particular of this particular um society western europe western european western european society is commerce mm -hmm. everything is based off commerce i'm just being for real but um you know hey he gave he gave the people some form of empowerment for those in the christian baptist community mm -hmm. um to make them feel as if you know that it was good but also during that time we there were people who also had knowledge of self they was not with that I'm just being 100, but a lot of people who did have knowledge of self did actually march with Dr. King for the uh, for the unity, which is cool. You know, sometimes we got to unify. I heard an elder speak, um, um, an old 5% elder speak on uh, Instagram. I showed it to my wife, and uh, he was saying, we, we split. We got 5%. We got Sunni Muslim. We got regular. We got Islam. We got we got all these different sets, but when the Wazungu see you, he see you as a what? We ain't gonna say it on live, but he see you as that one person, the N word. Mm -hmm. He see you as that. So we have to take that same stance. We need to see them not as Presbyterian, not as Baptist. I mean, not as uh, Methodist and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We need to see them as that. Unify the unify together, and definitely uh, stop putting our resources in, into a particular into a particular system, whereas if we find ourselves in a bad situation, you know what I'm saying? And we have to utilize certain, certain tools and learn from it. Can we learn from Dr. King? Yes, we can. We can learn from that. What do we learn? Not to be non-violence. <laughs> we we okay. I agree. I, I agree with a lot. And I want to speak on something that Queen touched on. The 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 buses, you know, there was plenty of time to have ownership. Uh, like she said, we're gonna put it on them scales. And what I want to also put point out is the effectiveness of protesting and boycott. So if we really look at the effects of the Montgomery bus boycott, and see that's what a lot of these uh people say now that boycott not gonna help. And again. It's like it's like basketball. If you ain't have, if you don't have that on the court experience, then you can only talk from a certain perspective. Me knowing firsthand the power we have when we are able to come together and shut down a business is something that most people will never understand. Yeah. Now this is what I this is because it's been a few years since we probably not shut anything down, huh, Wild? But um. This is always the insane part of the twenty, the twenty twenty, or twenty nineteen, or two thousand today. Black people that we say these things that, but the mass, vast majority, when you're boycotting, the most people you having trouble with is your people. Mm -hmm. I I can remember several times we setting it off, and our people are fighting with us to go in there and spend money with this stuff. Now I think I think the integration agree again Queen two thousand on that that was the worst thing to hit us yeah mm -hmm. because they didn't integrate with us they brought us into theirs 
as a way of because everything 